I just want to start off this video by saying I do not hate Borderlands 3 by any means. That thumbnail was simply a trap to lure all the Borderlands 3 meat riders into clicking on my video, which leads to them watching an ad, in turn making me profit off their undying love for the Calypso twins. But I will say that I do have some problems with Borderlands 3, and I noticed some other Borderlands YouTubers have been dissing Borderlands 2 lately, and I'm not just gonna let that slide. So today I will be talking about why I think Borderlands 2 is better. And if you disagree with any points I make, be sure to leave an angry comment, because that helps the YouTube algorithm give me more views, which allows me to profit even more off of Borderlands 3 Meat Riders. Anyways, enough talk, let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about regarding Borderlands 3 is story. You see, every great game has to have some kind of Mickey Mouse bullshit that keeps the game from being perfect. The sniper jackals of Halo 2, the hackers from Call of Duty, the Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed. You see, these are the things that keep these games from being perfect, and for Borderlands 3, that's undoubtedly the story. Riddle me this, cum connoisseurs. Do you, a gamer, want to hop on your PlayStation after your long day of scrolling through TikTok and spanking your turkey to listen to Lilith talking for 16 hours straight? Really? You don't? It's almost as if you want to sit down and enjoy playing your game, rather than talking to Lilith. Uh... EIGHTEEN TIMES?! That's right, people. You're forced to listen to 18 long, unwanted pieces of dialogue before you can finally be a free man and say that you beat Borderlands 3. Now I know all the Borderlands 3 fans are holding their balls with the grip strength equivalent to your mother pulling you out of church to spank your ass in the parking lot, saying, But Uncle Zerk, superior gameplay of Borderlands 3 makes up for the lack of story. Newsflash, young Sheldon, it doesn't, because no amount of fun, dopamine, or Ellie body pillows is worth the time I spend listening to Lilith ramble. On, and on, and on. Anyways, enough of that. Let's talk about the infamous loot system in Borderlands 3. Oh my god! If I were to say anything about Borderlands 3's loot system, it's that sweet, sweet dopamine release from getting a legendary is about as absent as the Uncle Zerk takedown challenge video on the MG Plays YouTube channel. That's right, MG. You thought I wouldn't notice it was gone? You thought I was gonna just let it slide? Well, I've got news for you. Uh... Chris Klein. I'm gonna show the whole world my badass 360 no scope on your ass, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Oh! Oh my fucking god! <clears throat> Anyways, where was I? Alright, the loot system. Well, I think it's simply too easy. Now I know, I know. Y'all are jumping up and down on your gaming chairs saying, Farm the god rolls if it's too easy! But that's just a stupid fucking argument. Legendaries are supposed to be rare, that's the whole point. But Uncle Zerk, farming for legendaries in the other Borderlands games is a waste of time. Yeah, so what? You clearly have no problem talking to Lilith for 45 minutes every two hours, so what's a little extra time working for a badass legendary that you actually want and will provide you fun times for a few hours before you have to... well, do it all over again. But see, that's what a looter shooter is! You loot and shoot, and some loot is meant to be easier than others. And the reason there's this big circle jerk of Borderlands creators that don't like the loot system in Borderlands 3 is simply because it's bad. Alright, now I have realized I've done nothing but shit on Borderlands 3 this entire video, so I'm gonna talk about the best part of the game. The gameplay. The gunplay is phenomenal to say the least. The guns have so much punch compared to older titles. I mean, t here, just listen. From the sound design to the gore and elemental effects, Borderlands 3 really nailed it in the gameplay department. Anyways, enough of this positive Borderlands bullshit. The whole point of this video is to nitpick Borderlands 3 in any way I can. So let's talk about the Vault Hunters. I can't help but notice every Vault Hunter in the game seems to have the same gimmick as previous Vault Hunters, but slightly better. Although they did improve on said gimmicks, it didn't feel like they were bringing anything new to the table. The only character I found completely original was Moe's. I mean, look at every other playable character in Borderlands 3. You can't tell me Amara is Maya, Zane is Doppelganger, Flack is Zero but with a shit-flinging monkey. Also, where are the DLC Vault Hunters? 
It's like every Borderlands 3 player totally forgot that Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel had these kick-ass DLC vault hunters that added more replayability to the game. Where is that in Borderlands 3? The reason I find the Borderlands game so fun is the seemingly infinite amount of replayability they hold. And yet, Borderlands 3 manages to have a long story, only 4 vault hunters, and 18 conversations with Lilith. Uh, okay, I'll stop. But seriously. I feel after about 200 hours of Borderlands 3, I'm just flat out bored. Even though Borderlands 3 technically has more to do, it somehow doesn't feel that way. Whereas Borderlands 2, where I have 250 hours on PC alone, not including every other console, and I'm still willing to sit down and have fun on yet another playthrough. Now, last but not least when it comes to Borderlands 3 is DLCs. I will admit, most of these are actually pretty fun and come with a boatload of solid new weapons that enhance the gameplay further. And although some were definitely more fun than others, I still had a decent time with all of them. Well, that's it from me, cum connoisseurs. If you made it this far, remember to like and subscribe. And if you really want to exercise those sweet little fingers of yours, comment hashtag Salvadorable so I can heart your comment.